Pakistan is scrambling to deliver aid and save lives as the death toll from record-breaking floods keeps rising. Health officials say scores of cases of dengue have also been reported from flood-affected areas. It's a double whammy for Pakistan. After being hit by floods, the country is now reporting an outbreak of waterborne diseases. Over 90,000 diarrhea cases were reported from one of the worst flood-hit provinces, Sindh, on the 1st of September. According to the head of government-run Kairapur Hospital, many of the children being admitted are in critical condition. We are receiving sick children in a critical condition, suffering from dehydration and high-grade fever, because they are reaching here via broken roads and flood waters in the area. There is a lack of transportation. After all this, once these children arrive here, they are already in critical conditions. We are also receiving dead children here. There are fears of mosquito-borne dengue fever due to the stagnant floodwaters. The monsoon rains have swept away entire villages, bridges and roads, leaving hundreds of thousands homeless. Nearly 1,500 people have died so far due to the floods. At one point, a third of the country's territory was inundated. With winter just weeks away, half a million people are living in camps after being displaced by the flood, which destroyed 1.7 million homes. So far, the government's priority has been to deliver food, tents and cash to the victims. Now they are planning measures to reduce the risk of waterborne diseases like dengue fever. Yes, there are issues like gastro, diarrhea and dengue. We have already started using anti-dengue spray across the province and we are taking serious action against those who are not doing their duty. We transfer 2 crore rupees to each district for the equipments to be used on anti-dengue spray. The UN Children's Agency said over 3 million children are in need of humanitarian assistance and stand at heightened risk of diseases, drowning and malnutrition due to the most severe flooding in the nation's recent history. The government is only giving us cooked rice. My children are sick with fever and a cough. We are staying here in this makeshift shelter. We need food. Initially, Pakistan estimated that the floods caused $10 billion in damages. But authorities are now saying the damages are far greater. The devastation has forced the United Nations to urge the international community to send more help. So far, UN agencies and various countries, including the United States, have sent about 90 plane loads of aid. Bureau report, we are World is One.